See what I mean? Big water babies. I was like, oh. We got a ton of rain yesterday. And these are like, I can't go on. Kind of funny. A little bit more. Squash is looking good. Look at the double color. That's funny. Oh, here's one of the winter sweets, I think. Can't see anything, it's so bright. 90 degrees. And the pumpkin that I tried, that I popped out and tried to balance on here so it wouldn't pop back in, I found it the next day. And that, it was already too big to get through. So, here it is. Huge. And growing like crazy still. I'm going to have to cut it out of the fence. So funny. These are doing really good. There's pumpkin. Another pumpkin. This pumpkin is already turning. Oh, you're dry. Oh my goodness. I can't even find the... There. <laughs> Just loaded. And, yeah. I probably lost all of my carrots to the bunnies. I don't know if they'll grow anymore. I lost a lot of my strawberries to them too. They ate all the strawberries. People who think gardening is easy Obviously, I've never grown more than one tomato plant. Probably something they bought at the store already big. Or they throw so much chemicals and junk on their food that nothing wants to eat it.
or their area is so undiverse that they have nothing wanting to come and eat it. That's just sad. Oh, this cage is just tipping over. Oh my goodness. I'm still hopeful on the carrots, but I'm not going to hold my breath. No strawberries this year. I got maybe two strawberries. Look at that broccoli. Exploded. Finally. Just makes me laugh how big that pumpkin is. It's a jungle back here. Oh, in the shade of the vines. Oh, that feels good. Oh, look at that. That really exploded. Those, I hope, so hope they got enough pollination. We'll see. We had so much rain and then wind and rain and stuff that I haven't been able to hand pollinate as much as I wanted to. So I'm hoping it got enough on its own. These I gotta do just to make sure. But they're, they're growing. Holding out hope. Oh, it is hot. Peppers are really going for it too now. Oh, there's a couple down. I had to stake these ones after the storm. I staked them yesterday. A bunch of them had fallen all the middle roll pretty much was down. I don't want to get the pollen wet. Look at them all. They're doing so good. See all my steaks. Thought that was interesting, only the middle roll. The middle two rows had issues. The outside were fine. This row was fine. This row was fine. It's just this one and that one. These ones are doing great. And now that we have hairs, I gotta pollinate. Which I need two hands for so I won't be filming that again. Pretty sure I posted one. 
holding out hope on the sweet potatoes still. Fingers crossed that I get something. Yeah, they discovered the green beans too. good. Those are my mom's peppers. I don't remember what she planted here. They're really top heavy. She needs to stake them. <laughs> Nothing yet on the basil. Oh my, look at you. <laughs> There's another one. They're a little dirty. Pumpkin vine is hilarious. Like that is crazy. I wonder if I'll be able to measure it in the fall when I take it out. Okay, you guys don't look like you need water, so I'm not gonna water. I think the corn is less of a water baby than the pumpkins and squash. Oh yeah, you're just going nuts. Can't wait for pumpkin harvest. Those are so fun. Okay, one little water, one more little water for the sunshine. Oh, hello, little bee. Enjoy the shade of the vines. Um, I gotta water those tomatoes up there. Oh. Going over there. Oh, yeah, that branch that was huge. It fell down after the storm when I was back here, and it fell right across the path. Very easily could have done it as I was walking. Just took it out of my garden just now. Oh yeah, and Mufasa is inside so Lady can have the day out where she has more water that she can't trash right away. Chicken. So Mufasa's enjoying time in my room. These have sprouted. The rosemary has not yet. Oregano and thyme. Peppers are going. We need to mow so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. 
been either too hot or humid or too wet. You stop causing trouble, you little snot. You have all of this whole green grass yard plus out there and you choose to eat my garden. Why is that? I see no caterpillars. Sad. I was hoping. It's already going to seed. Yeah, I don't see any swallowtail caterpillars. Maybe next year. Well, we had nine, 11 last year. Like, holy cow. That or somebody came and ate them. That could have also been the thing. Oh, there's some more. Are we sure these are Romas? Or are these something else? Cause these don't look like Romas to me. Don't they look like cherry or something? Like same variety plants, same. Look at the difference. That is so weird. Like what made them so different? And those in there and then this thistle. I don't get it. This is my first year growing tomatoes, so I don't really know anything about them. Except that they like calcium. Like seriously, so weird. Pretty much on the same vine, too. I'm gonna ask somebody. Pull weeds back here. Oh my gosh. One weed at a time. Problem is, they grow so fast. I'm not able to keep up with them. With help with being busy and all of that. And then the heat. My best times of coming out here are early morning and late evening. And that's when the mosquitoes are their worst. So that's why I haven't really weeded much. You are just down. I hope this video uploads. The last couple I've tried making have not wanted to upload, and I don't know why. That's why I haven't done a lawn form in a while. Some 
some trimming. Holy cow. We got one, a couple strawberries that survived the bunnies from last year. I can't wait for this to go. They're playing with the grass that I gave them. You guys ate that. I gave you so much. Hi, chicks. Lena. Hi, chick. Okay. I am done watering. I'm not turning this off or putting it away because I'll have to water again. Probably. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully this uploads. Can't wait for these to grow. Bye chicks.